Tonight, the surge in demand for the measles vaccine is hitting new highs. Good evening. I'm Jack Royer. Within the past hour, the Alabama Department of Health determined the measles case reported earlier this month in Pell City is negative, but that is not stopping the rush to get the shot. We begin tonight with CBS 42's Robert Sherman in Calhoun County, where pharmacists and residents alike aren't taking any chances. Staffers here at Martin's Pharmacy in Aniston tell me that they've received a slew of phone calls regarding the measles vaccine as residents have grown increasingly worried. Four year old Serenity prances around the playground while her grandmother, Joaquina Webster, smiles and watches. Webster loves watching Serenity play, but she can't help but feel nervous. I just had a conversation with my mom. Is it, you know, safe to have her out of the park? Webster's concerns stem from a presumptive case of measles in Pell City, but test results came back negative Friday afternoon. Kind of comes stored as a little. But Kai Martin, a pharmacist at Martin's Pharmacy, tells us that Webster isn't the only one worried. Since the news has been coming out about people having seen cases of it in this area, uh, We've had people call far more than ever before. Martin tells us normally they don't even carry the vaccine in store, but with the recent surge in demand, they've loaded up and feel ready to meet the need with a day's notice. Probably I mean, at least probably 50 people if we needed to for Webster. She hopes more people take advantage for the safety of serenity and all children. And I think it's important. It's vital. It's important for the kids safety. And there will be the Alabama Department of Public Health tells me that a child's pediatrician is usually the best person to issue a vaccination. But if that isn't an option, pharmacies just like this one are a great alternative. Reporting in Aniston, Robert Sherman, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.